A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and let's dig on into this, shall we? Freaking ABCs. I am actually super excited for this. So we're going to be running through more of your breakdown for this extravaganza. 26 freaking place here. Ryan Sano. This man has been no stranger to this channel. Uh, we've seen quite a lot of success from him at the extravaganzas. And boy, oh boy, he brought me an ABC deck today. He had pack running around with budget dolls here. Now we have easy as one, two, three, the deck. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more excellent content. And now, I, I do have to once again thank all of you guys that share this info with me. It really does mean a lot to me that we can share this info with the community. All right, so we have triple copies of A Assault Core, triple copies of Ash Blossom, and the Joyous Spring Machine. Triple copies of Bee Buster Drake, triple copies of Sea Crushy, Two copies of Drone Lockbird, triple copies of Galaxy Soldier, triple copies of Ghost Bell and the Haunted Mansion, triple copies of the Space Rock Man, one copy of the Photon Orbital. Alright, you already know. Alright, you're searching for your Galaxy card here. Alright, fun little interactions for 500. Alright, we also have triple copies of Skullmeister, one copy of Union Driver, then we get into some spicy stuff here. Cyanet Universe. So all of your Link monsters get a nice 300 attack boost, all right? That's that's easy, all right? Once per turn, you can target one monster in the graveyard. Shuffle it into the deck, okay? Hmm. Dragon, Dragon Buster Cannon Reload? Anybody? If this card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, send all, monster in, or all monsters in the extra monster zones to the graveyard. So if anything happens to this, you get a free dual clean out of both EDMs, which is actually kind of nice. We have two copies of Pot Desires, one set rotation, one terraforming, triple copies of the unauthorized reactivation, triple copies of Union Hanger, and one copy of Upstart Album. Down here in the extract, we have one Union Carrier, one Platinum Gadget, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Phoenix, and one Cerberus, one copy of IP Mascarena, one Hip Hoshigan, one Boral Sword, with one Apollosa, one Access Code, with one Nova, one Infinity, all basic stuff. Triple copies of ABC Dragon Turd. Then we have triple copies of Lancia, one Drone Lockbird, triple Gamma, one Driver, one Called by the Grave, triple Cosmic Cyclone, one Droplet, one Feather Duster, and the one Imperial Order. Wrapping up Ryan Sano's 26th place list. I also heard rumor that I believe 40th place from the Extravaganza was playing Harpy Tri Brigade. I can't confirm or deny that right now. I also haven't had time to look at the UK results yet. Don't worry about it. I have to take things one day at a time right now because of tippy toe ban this season. All right, it's to be expected. All right, now next up we have this is Eddie Farmer's list for you guys. And uh, this is going to be, this was 8th place, Zodiac Eldritch for you guys. Now, we pretty much, I know this is going to be like a little boring semantic stuff. Um, remember, you're going to be looking at interesting variants and results for these. And the thing that caught my attention right with this here, that's one freaking Golden Lord in this deck. All right. And we're also tacking out at Double Divine Wrath. All right. I, ever since we saw this card coming out of Jesse's list uh, during the previous uh, event, a lot of people have kind of turned heads and gone, well, you see, it's really good. I also see our zoo engine is relatively small. So, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. One singular Ecclesia. Cool thing with this is this just gives you access to punishment. You also get access... Your engine's very small for a main deck portion. Uh, which means you're not going to have issues dedicating and trying to use this. All right? I think the smaller the combo engine, just the better value you're going to get. One Eldlich, two copies of Ghost Bell, two Nibiru, triple Skullmeister with one Ram Ram, one Throwblade, and one Whiptail. And then we have triple copies of Cursed Eldland, triple copies of Tenki, triple copies of The Servant, one Barrage, triple copies of Conk, because you know how good this card is, two copies of Divine Wrath, or one copy of Punishment, triple Eld Elixir of Scarlet Zanguine, one Haguero, triple Strike, and two copies of Torrential. All right, and then we have one Union Carrier, one freaking copy of Frigette, by the way. 
Hmm. Interesting little uh, tech spot here. We also have one copy of Link Spidey, one copy of Asa, one, two copies of Tiger Mortar, one Hammerbong, one Dryden, two copies of Chalcanine, one Borbo, one Zeus, one Omega, and two copies of our dear friend Anintis. Psyduck here, we have triple copies of Cycle Reader, two copies of Lancia, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, triple copies of Forbidden Droplet, one copy of Feather Duster, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment, wrapping up probably one of the more combo-focused, teched-out versions of Eldritch that I've really got the chance to see this format, uh, which is actually kind of nice. Next up for you guys' attention, we have, this is Ian Meltzer's 15th place list. This is the invoked uh, Eldritch list that we got a chance to talk about. Now, talk about a throwback here, all right? Like, we're all the way back in time. It's almost like we have not traveled at all in terms of progression of the format because we're right back to the Aladdin, or Palladium Oracle Mana build here uh, with the Magician Souls. So your basic package is you just drop this off. Uh, you have access to the Magician Souls to tear through this for draw power. Very, very basic stuff for this. So basic, basic stuff. Also now our, our package is a little bit more you know, good to go because of this. So thank you, Artemis, for really helping us out. So, Invoked Eldlich. Triple copies of Alistair the Invoker. I know how many people are so frustrated with hearing that in this format. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Triple copies of Drone Lockbird. Two copies of Eldlich the Golden Lord. Triple copies of Magician Souls. One Oracle Palladium Mana. One Dark Magician and one Red Eyes Black Dragon. Then we have one Call by the Grave, Triple Copies of Cursed Old Land, one Eld Elixir of Black Awakening, one Eld Elixir of White Destiny, Triple Copies of Forbidden Droplet, two Invocation, Triple Copies of Magical Meltdown, and then we've arrived at the Dragoon Man. This is like the first real implication that I've seen of anybody trying to do anything with uh, Dragoon for like this event. So that's kind of interesting. We have one Terraforming, Triple Copies of Conk, Triple Copies of Eld Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine, and triple copies of our boy Haguero. Extra deck down here, we have one Al Mirage, one Verte Anaconda, one Link Spider, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one copy of the Soldier of Chaos, one Barricade Borg Blocker, actually. That's very interesting. All right, getting the discard one to add a continuous aura field spell from your graveyard back to your hand is actually kind of cool because uh, getting access back to this. It's always going to be very good value. One Artemis, one Dragoon, one Rajin, one Purgatrio, two Makaba, one Kaliga, and the one Ogoides. Side deck here we have Triple Ansia, Triple Nibir, Triple Skullmeister, two Cosmic, Triple Dark Ruler No More, and one copy of the Harpy's Feather Duster, wrapping up Ian's list for everybody. And the last little piece of game to have for you guys. This is Eldlich. Yeah, man. So much Eldlich for this video. Eldritch Numeron. Now, this was Bill Way's list, and the only reason why I included this was this man won four win mats with this. All right, he literally messaged me and said, Robbie, I know you don't really cover uh, side event stuff. I'm like, I mean, if it piques my interest, man won four freaking flights for win mats Think about that, all right? That's quite impressive. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two Eldritch to the Golden Lord, triple copies of Nibiru, triple copies of Numeron Wall, one Dark Magician, one Red Eyes, one Called by the Grave, two Cursed Old Land, one White Destiny, one Feather Duster, one Lightning Storm, two Numeron Calling, triple Numeron Network, two copies of Red Eyes Fusion, one copy of Terraforming, and two copies of Twin Twister with triple copies of Conk, triple copies of Scarlet Zanguine, two Haguero, and triple copies of Solemn Strike. Extra deck down here, we have one Zero Boros, one Verte, one copy of the Unicorn, one Megaclops, one Imduke, one copy of Zexel, with one Cadviri, uh, and then two of each of the rest. Then we have one copy of Pallades and one Dragoon. So I take care of Triple Ancia, Triple Copies of Drone Lockbird, two Gadarla, two Lava Golem, one Raigeki, one Imperial Order, one Red Reboot, and two copies of Solemn Judgment, wrapping up Bill Way's list. I want to say freaking congratulations to everybody that played in this extravaganza. I'm extremely happy to see the results across the board for all of these. As I said, we're in tiptoe banless season right now, so I have to be a little bit more cautious. I can't film too far out in advance right now, so 
prepare for some very interesting content as we tiptoe through a ban list here. So what do you guys think? Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more excellent content. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool, awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.